Welcome everybody to another YouTube exclusive Voice of Nick episode. We're going to be playing more Pillars of the Earth, and I think we're about to have a really awkward and sad scene here, so let's get to it. Tom Builder made this house. You need a decent roof, he said, with rock walls and a chimney, as if I was still noble. My family needs an emblem, a coat of arms, so we may never forget our purpose. I shouldn't weave with the door open. The draft will kill me. I only use it for myself. Tomorrow I'll marry Alfred. I can't sleep with the door open. Did I hear something? I must be getting tired. Whew, it's getting cold. Visitor. Yes? I am sorry for disturbing you on an important day like this, but have you by any chance seen Jack since yesterday? Uh, has something happened? He's gone. We've been looking for him all morning. He's gone? Well, yes. And I'm afraid it is my fault. I had him locked away. But in the end, I just punished anger with wrath. Well, find him then. My monks are already trawling the woods. I myself will go to Shiring while Martha is taking a horse to a cave he used to know. Please, don't let this spoil the first day of your marriage, when there should be only reason to rejoice. Thank you. They still haven't found it. How long has it been? Three days. Well, I think he's gone for good. I love him like a brother. But first, he tries to kill me. Then he runs off, Woody and his family's sick. Are you hungry? I think I'll prepare some food. Great. I'm starving. They're barely making progress. No wonder. Many lost friends and family in the attack. I bought them with my own coin, when I still had an income. Don't care if I use them up now. There's still a lot of spices left. We've been married for what? A week? Five days. That's almost a week. Yet we still haven't, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I want this to work, but I need time. It's all right. Sometimes you look at me like you think your husband isn't a good man. But I am a good man. You'll see. If 
find it hard to focus these days, but little by little I'm making progress. Soon it will be finished. I already soaked the wheat and added milk. What are you cooking? Frementi. What's going in it? Wheat and ale with milk, spices, venison and eggs. <laughs> well, as long as it tastes good. I'm glad that he never touched me. No, I won't brood about him. Not today. You need any help? You could prepare the meat. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, never mind. I've got it. It still needs eggs. Eggs, okay. Um, we might have to go out to go get some eggs. I don't feel like going out today. There's not much outside anyway. Where are you going? Oh, nowhere. I just needed some more herbs for the soup. Huh? I think everything you need's here. Damn, alright. Jeez. Just trying to go outside. Alright, uh, we gotta find eggs inside then. Where are you, eggs? Is that it? Nope. This thing? Just raking the mouse across the screen, the classic adventure game technique. Maybe it's in the bedroom? Aha! Martha brought them over. Yesterday, the day before, time passes so fast. Martha brought them, and I have to cook again. Today, I was thinking about what you and Philip did for our workers when they were afraid that they wouldn't be paid. Offering them coin to make them stay and feel safe. What if I did something similar? How about I could offer them pay in case something happens? Like an insurance? What do you think? Could you afford it? That's up to the prior to decide. He said he'd come over around noon tomorrow. Maybe he could eat with us. And you, um... You could help me explain the idea. If you want. I think... I think it would be good for you. To do something other than cooking and weaving. You haven't left the house in two weeks. Uh-huh. You're right, huh? I'd be glad to help. Oh, great. I have to make this work one day at a time. Would you like venison with it? No, thank you. I'm just here to talk. Aesthetic as always, I see. It just turns more and more into a habit, really. That's all I need. It's ready to cook. He's looking paler than usual. And thinner. Even the novices started whispering about him. So, you are suggesting that we promise the workers money if the construction is not completed? Yes, as an insurance. Since the fleece fair, they've been quite worried. It would ease their minds a bit. Yes, especially since they know they don't have to finish the cathedral in order to get rich. It sounds to me like we would be tempting them to fail deliberately. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. Don't be so cynical, Philip. I'm not. 
It's just... It's just so hard to encourage goodness these days. We tried so hard in the last few years, yet all we reaped is death and misery. The alternative would be to do nothing at all. I think it's not a bad idea. We wouldn't promise them too much, just enough to help them get by till they find new work. It would ease their minds a bit. Yes, you said that. Your idea shows great compassion, Alfred. Thank you, Father. It's very rare these days to find spirits who still believe in the good of people. Unfortunately. <sighs> I could never promise them coin, because one cannot give what one does not have. Ever since the market collapsed, Kingsbridge is losing more than it earns. We may even run out before we complete the cathedral. What? It was my father's dream to build that thing. We must finish it. Could you build faster? Finish it before you run out of money? Is that an option? It is. I've seen it done before. I can do it. All right. I promise you, I will think about your proposal. Oh, um, milady, your soup. Turned out better this time, I think. Tom Builder made this house. We used to talk about business. Now everything is about Jack and Alfred. How degrading. Thank you. I'd never thought that my brother could work so hard. He just wants to be better than Jack. I'm not so sure. I would never have thought, really. Alfred has changed. He used to be such a bully. He seems really concerned about things now. About Kingsbridge, about you, about your family. I can't wait for you to give me a little nephew or niece. Well, enough about Alfred. Did you get the blue dye I've been asking for? Actually, I did. It's from a woad merchant in Winchester. Took me some time to find him. Oh, thank you so much, Martha. I guess now I finally have to finish my weaving. How's it going? I'm taking my time. I'm not in a rush. What does Sir Richard think of the idea? I haven't told him yet. When he comes here, he's mostly interested in coin. But that's the deal. He fights and I pay. It's an endless circle. The coat of arms shall remind us of who we are and where we come from, so we don't end up losing purpose. Have you decided on an animal yet? You really should have an animal on it. Oh. Uh... Well, maybe, uh, like, what's like an underdog? Maybe like a fox, like a lion's like the king of the jungle. Fox is just like a, he's gonna come up and take it from behind. Or the eagle swoop in. 
I'm gonna say the fox. It will sport a fox. Oh, foxes are smart. I like that. Ali, I'm so sorry that I mentioned wanting a niece. I just thought in the last month that you were, well, growing a bit. Oh, <laughs> I'm just getting fat. You're not getting fat. You forget that there's not a lot for me to do other than sit around and eat. Then we should take a hike soon. Stretch your legs and get some sunshine. I'd like that. I would like that a lot. But not today. I need to finish the coat of arms first. Get it done while I still can. fulfill my oath. I wish that Jack would have understood. Love alone could never stop William Hamley. Only money and influence. With Alfred as a husband, I can fulfill my father's last wish. And ever since we've been married, he's been working deep into the nights to finish the cathedral. And when he's home, he expects nothing in return. Although I can see so much longing in his eyes. He is trying his best to make our arrangement work. And I try to be a good wife. I did what I had to do when I married him. But what I didn't know back then was that I am pregnant with your grandchild. You brought this on yourself. You had the love of your life, but you threw it away. Do you scorn me for what I did? No more than anyone else. First and foremost, I blame that priest who turned my son into a monk. But you're a very close second. What if I brought Jack back? Oh, Aliena. <sighs> Jack has left England. There's no possible way to find out where he went. I want you to know one thing. Jack loved you. For me, that makes you still family. If you can't have his baby, give it to me. I will raise it far away from this crooked world that had no room for my son. I don't want to give our child away. Then you cannot stay here. You cannot go on like this. But I have to. Don't you understand? It's finished. I want you to wear it when you go to battle to remind us of what we are fighting for. Huh. Why a fox? Underdogs. I said that. Because you go on like a fox hunt, so they're like the hunted, you know, because William Hamley's hunting them. See, I'm pretty smart when I want to be. Because we are not lions, nor eagles, nor bears. But outcasts. And as such, we need to play by the rules of a fox. You hear that, Alfred? I'm a fox. 
<laughs> Grow up, Richard. This is important. Sorry. How's the war going, by the way? How is your standing with the king? It's getting better and better. The good thing is, William Hamley is turning out to be quite the lousy player. In our last battle, he ran away when things started to get a bit tight. They say he was afraid to die before he settled matters with his mother. His mother? No one's seen her in years, not since her husband died. But rumour has it she's still alive and joyfully pulling his strings. Mention her to William, and he goes as pale as a sheep. Ali, we are so close, but we need to be careful. We mustn't let our guard down. Is there anything you need from me, Richard? Well, a new saddle would be nice. I'll see to it. And a horse to put it on, of course. The last one caught quite a few arrows. Right. I'll be out for a while. I've got some business at the market with Martha. All right. Damn, Alfred doesn't even, it's not even like he thinks it's his kid. He's, he just knows what's going on. Aliena's coat of arms. Aliena's design for a coat of arms serves as an emblem for her family, meant to be worn on a shield, surcoat, tabard, or flag, and carried into battle. Each element on a coat of arms is meant to provide unique insight into the history and ideals of the carrier, which is why Aliena chose a fox. They are smart and will always find a solution. Ladies and gents, we created our coat of arms, and we're going to go see what life without Jack is really like. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure you're subscribed on this YouTube channel if you're not already. These episodes of Pillars of the Earth come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, four times a week. Don't forget to leave a comment as well. This game is really something. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.